All right. Welcome to Gemini Soul Tarot Sagis. Sagis, this uh, reading, mm, we got the shadow card jumping out already. Sagis, I guess you're ready to talk. This is dealing with your light and your dark, right? Good and bad. Making them choices, what's right for you, what's wrong for you. Realizing that something might have been good for you. Could have been working from your shadow side. Not being very... Uh, sure of what it is you want to do in the situation, right? You could have had a little devil on one side telling you to do this and then your light side telling you to do something else. I'm just feeling you may be forced with some choice, Sagi, for um, October. Guys, this may not resonate with you all and that is okay, okay? So if it doesn't resonate, just throw it out to the universe. I hurt my finger here so it may look a little funny on camera, but... That's because I took my band-aid off. I know y'all don't want to hear all of that, but it would look a little spooky. You know, it is October, right, Saggy? So, hey, things may not be as they seem, <laughs> okay? It's a little trick-or-treat. Anyway, Sag, let's get going. On this side, Sag, the energy you're going to be dealing with for October, then we're going to see, um, and this will be the energy of the person or situation around you. In the middle, we're going to have a little neutral energy between the situation. And over here, how you going to show up with the situation, the outcome, and how you going to deal with it. All right, so let's just get into it. We already seen that there is a decision, Sadie, that you need to make for uh, October. Something you're pondering on. All right, for the energy, Sagittarius will be dealing with spirit. Can you... Give us some energy. All right, you got destiny. I'm going to get your cards out. That's going to help the reading go much faster. Over here, we, and then we're going to come back. Victory and success. All right, victory and success. So you got destiny, victory, and success. So see, mm, uh-oh. Then we got uh, temptation. Okay, it could be the devil card or it's just temptation. All right. Uh, okay, let's just skip. This is the energy that you're dealing with, Sag. Let's see what's the neutral energy. Let's just go to the neutral energy. Okay, so third, third eye chakra. Okay, so that's gonna be using your intuition, whatever this situation. Let me move this over one minute because I need more room on the board. Okay. Um, so this gonna be dealing with your intuition side, something third eye opening. So you may have so on your again intuition. I just said right third eye open. That's very any you know if you don't believe in third eye and all this, you are gonna see through the two eyes you got. How about that? The clarity is in the mind. Yeah, because sometimes people be coming through with some stuff, and I just wanna help them so they don't be sitting up there messing with their forehead. You know, I just say it. I just. Anyway, give me two more for Sag. <laughs> two more for how Sag is going to be dealing with this situation, the energies. We got mental conflict. One more for Sag. One more on how Sag is going to be dealing with this situation for October spirit. That one didn't fall. Okay. One more. One more for Sagittarius. And that one definitely did. Uh, the sacral chakra. Okay. So with so I the so in the neutral energy between you and this situation is the third eye. So this is definitely you having some enlightenment, some intuitive, and you starting off with intuitive. So having the know how. So no matter what this is, Sag, you're gonna see what it is. under the bottom you have crown chakra. So Sag, you're gonna be dealing with a lot of inner work. Uh, for the month of October. Because of this decision, you're going to be going within and really trying to balance out what it is. With this crown chakra, though, that's like truth coming in. Clarity, like spiritual downloads. If you don't believe in it being spiritual downloads, like stuff going to be happening to let you know exactly what you're supposed to be doing and which direction to deal with this situation. So let's look at the energy side for the person uh, situation. We start off with the destiny card, victory, and success, and temptation. So, 
I feel Sag, whatever the situation is, that it is destined. They feel it is destined for you either to be together, have a victory or success together, where you become together in love. They could very much be lusting over you, having a lot of temptation, secret admire. They could have codependent issues also, Sag, right? Um, they could feel that you are a, a, a good choice. You are stability. You are, you know, they feel that they could have a victory with you or whatever you two come together could build, could be something very successful. I'm also feeling that this person here could have been, you know, trying to find a mate and, um, to them, all angles leads to you, Saggy. And they truly want a victory with you. Definitely may have someone want to um, announce something. Like they want to get married. They want to be engaged to you. Um, but somebody is definitely seeing you as a destiny. They, and they've got strong feelings with this uh, temptation card here. Which is considered the devil card, right? But if you look at this temptation, he got that ball of light right there. So the, the as far as I'm concerned, it is looks like they... They got the light there. Mm. And it's like somebody, instead of coming forth in their true identity, telling you what it is, I think this person is going to be working angles on you for the month of October. Because if you look at this card, the light is there, but they're kind of holding it back. So it's like they're trying to hold the emotion back. Uh, if they have any, um, let me say, if they have any... Um, deception or something like that uh why they trying to come towards you uh saggy you're gonna know about it so you know them holding the light back it could just truly be a karmic connection somebody that's truly passionate about you and really want to be with you and want to start something with you and they could have been holding maybe holding their holding the truth back and didn't want to share with you, but they truly knew what it is they wanted. And they wanted to move towards you. That's what I'm feeling. Okay, so let's look at your energy, how you feel about the situation. You got the intuition, mental conflict, and then you have the sacral chakra. So the sacral chakra, you know, yeah. so you definitely, you know, I'm going here with this temptation. So there is some you know, passionate energy being exchanged. Uh, at this time or was Saggy with this person um, but I'm feeling like you following your intuition um, like you're thinking about the situation clearly about what it is that you truly want and because you had the light and dark the shadow card come out I feel you working on yourself trying to see what is best for you but I think you also see some toxicity in this like there may be something not so true or you may even feel that you know, you may even feel that this situation is just not for you because it can have dark elements to it. And the dark elements don't have to be bad. It could just be maybe codependent, maybe depending on this person for whatever it is, stability, financial. Uh, maybe this person could also have codependent issues. Um, and, you know, maybe you just feel that some things you need to work on. But you are using your intuition. You're going to get the guidance because you got your third eye chakra coming in. The mental conflict is it's only a part of you, though. So it's not it's not all of, of, of your thoughts every day, every night. Uh, it's just a very part of you, I think, that don't trust the situation or can't see it clearly. And uh, the rest of it, at some point in time, you just feel numb about it. Like, there's a part that enlightens you, wants you, wants you to move towards it. But then I think there's a part that's just not clear or fulfilling for you in this relationship. Now, you, like I said, it could have been some passionate. You guys, you know, if you're in a relationship, relationship, guys, with this person, then you could be very drawn towards the way they make you feel, you know, it may be something totally because if you look at this uh, mental conflict, you know, it's red, right? And it's yellow. So that's that sexual part. Did I, I hope they don't hit my dog on <laughs> reading because I don't know if they want to send that on YouTube. But anyway, I've been trying to come up with a, a better way to express so YouTube don't not share my dog on tutorials because it's here for somebody anyway. If it's meant to get out, spirit will make sure it get out, won't they? 
Okay, so anyway, there is some passionate stuff here and enlightenment, right? Because these two cards, they like going right into each other. So your sacral chakra and then this fire here. And on they side, they straight got number five, right? And and, and uh, uh, so at the end of the day, you guys do have a passionate connection. If you're not connected in no other way, something you agree on. <laughs> I'm just saying. There's a part of you that you agree on. All right, anyway. Okay, so let's just get into it. Oh, wait, no. Hold on. I need to get, I need to get, for this neutral, because we got the third eye. Ooh. I guess you said you should have So we have, uh, and I'm going to use these cards in reverse. Um, this is Moonology, and we got Memories of Love coming under the um, third eye chakra. Right, and let's see. It. We need two more here for Sagittarius partnership and alliance. Alliance, one more spirit. Now, this is uh, this is the neutral energy between the two, and the last one here is spiritual guidance for direction with this situation. Spiritual guidance for Sagittarius. In this uh, relationship or situation for Sagittarius, spiritual guidance. Man, y'all got some chakras, heart chakra. Yeah, so m October Sagittarius is going to be emotional, light under the bottom. So you got light. That's just being enlightened about something, finding the truth out. I told you that third, third eye chakra is open. Your intuition is there. You're seeing the situation, so let's just get into it, right? Let's get into it. Let's get some answers with this energy you're dealing with over here, Sagittarius. Clarify destiny for Sagi. Nine of Swords. So, Sagi, this person or situation you're dealing with is the Nine of Swords. Somebody that's really conflicted, being up in the head about the situation. They want a certain type of outcome because it comes under destiny. I don't know if you guys are not seeing on the same page right now or something happened in the connection, but this person is having anxiety and sleepless nights about whatever it is because they see you as their destiny and they feel that it should be working out. Also, I see in destiny, there's a lot of people in this uh, card right here in the destiny card. So it could be family, friends, a lot going on and you guys can't seem to come together or for some reason, you know, they see you as, as their destiny, but people could be telling them different. Like, you know, Saggy's behavior is this way. Or Saggy really don't want you. Or Saggy got too much going on. Because that's a lot going on. It's a lot of people. It could be family, friends, jobs, right? Working on your stability, healing, whatever. But it could be people around them, too, that's got them up in their head about wanting to choose this direction with you. The clarification that it is a six of cups. So... Uh, and that's with victory and, and success. So, Saggy, I feel that in the in the past, whoever this situation is, a problem, a person, you, this is somebody from the past, okay? Maybe in the past you had a victory or success. Maybe you guys built something together or you became good friends. You worked together for whatever reason it was. You felt good when you spent time with each other. It's a strong possibility that somebody now would like to take the connection to another level. And perhaps someone does not. So this person truly is seeing that in the past you guys had a victory success. They felt nostalgia. They enjoyed being with you. They liked uh, spending time with you. I think they even felt that you would have some growth in this situation and you guys would move forward. But as of right now, they're up in their head because I'm just feeling like, uh, Sag, by looking at your energy, you're truly going within to figure out what it is that you want and how to balance yourself. And if this situation is what you want, you probably, you know, I'm also feeling like you may be trying to see, is it true love? Is it what you really want? Because you got partnership and allowance and memories of love. So there is definitely some reflecting of the past to see if this relationship actually have any balance or uh, if there's any way that um, this relationship could come together and Maybe even if it was something that needed healing, maybe with temptation and stuff, maybe somebody cheated in the past, this person might have cheated, or you just felt that uh, they was uh, like codependent or they, they just had a lot of toxic ways, things you didn't understand, maybe the conversations wasn't never getting off the ground in the direction that this person wanted it to go. This is just how they're feeling about you, Sag, right? This is their truth, not necessarily yours. 
But um, this is what they see, that you guys may have had something in the past, and they're very concerned that whatever it is, you can't recover it. So, you know, they also could be feeling that, you know, you're walking away from this connection that you're not going to give it uh, a chance. They also may feel you have someone else. And I don't know where that came from. This temptation card. Clarify the temptation card. We got two cards. So we got the three of wands. That's Saggy coming up. And then the chariot. Yeah, Saggy. This, this person, Sagittarius, feels like you're moving on. That you're not waiting on them anymore. Or you're waiting on your ships to come in to move forward. So you either this person either feels that there's you're seeing someone else, right? Because you got the three of wands. That could definitely be three people, right? You could be a third energy. Or um, is they feel you're trying to make a decision on how you want to move forward, right? Um, with it coming out with the six of cups right beside it, it's like you could just be moving on from somebody in the past and moving forward and uh, just waiting on your ships to come in. This person could be doing that, too. They may have realized you're not looking back at the past. They could be having sleepless nights about it, that you don't want to work on this relationship that you guys may have had in the past and that you're walking away. Or they feel that they have to move on away from you, Sagittarius, because uh, I don't think they see now that there's movement or that you're moving towards them. They more so feel like you're moving away from them. But they do love you. Uh, or a lot of them, they very emo. Well, they they feel that you guys had something special, you know, childlike energy. They enjoyed being with you for sure. Uh, this person has the devil card and the three of pentacles. Yeah, they 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 got some. Yeah, that's what this sleepless nights is about. They got some straight up attachments going on here uh they really want to work with you but again i just totally feel this is three of wands you got the three of uh pinnacles here this person just feels there's a third energy that is not going to let this move forward but they want to have a victory and success with you but they feel that there's a lot of toxic you got this like the devil twice so codependency toxic people definitely with the destiny a lot of people involved keeping them up though um, at the end of the day, they, uh, you know, this person could definitely be saying, Sadie, I guess I'll leave the past in the past and move on and um, wait for my ships to come in. So it looks like they are, Sadie, getting to the point where they realize this relationship is toxic and they need to, they had to work on themselves and realize they needed to move on. Uh, if they have been deceptive in the past or kept moving back towards you or whatever, they see that that energy has not been good for them. Could have messed with their health, um, family, friends around them. And uh, But I just see someone that perhaps wants to move forward now and maybe collaborate with someone else. That, and we have the Knight of Wands. So, yeah, this person is definitely, I see this person is definitely getting up now. Uh, realizing that, you know, they got to take their passion and love. And if they've had deceptive behavior and know what this all was about, if it was third parties, the reason why, Saggy, they you're not taking them back or whatever, um, they know and now they got to just move on. And um, and if they had this night of ones, that player mentality, in and out energy, they know you're not accepting that anymore. Uh, you probably closed the door on that. That's why probably in your intuition over here and your third eye because the spirits are telling you, you know, your guys are coming through to let you know this situation here was very toxic. Uh, could have been a karmic or twin flame if you believe in that type of stuff. Um, but a relationship that it, it, it needs to stay in the past, right? Um, there, whatever it is at this point in time, the universe is not bringing it forth. Now we all have free will, so you definitely could choose that, but it's memories of love of a partnership and the allowance of the way it used to be. And your heart shock is very open. So it could be heartfelt heart, you know, could be definitely hurting your heart in regards. If you look at this, where you're a mental conflict, you have heart shock, which is green. That's a lot of green going on. So Sagittarius, you definitely could be hurt in regards to this situation, but you also know the right, you know, you know what's best for you and what it is that you have to do in this situation uh, in the month of October to move on. Let's get some um, clarity over here for you. Uh, intuition for Sagittarius. Intuition for Sagittarius. What is the intuition card doing here for Sagittarius? 
Okay, you got the two of swords. That's what we've been talking about. Is that right, Sadie? You know that's what we've been talking about. You having to make a choice. Uh, you got the two of swords. Uh, maybe at some point in time you were up in your head about it. Uh, you could have been choosing between two people. But I think this is you just trying to choose whether to give this person another chance or not. Thinking if maybe they've changed. Um, from what I'm seeing with the devil card being out here twice, that codependency and toxic... And um, I I don't I don't see now I do now let's let's let listen to me Sag. I don't see in the energies here that this person has changed, but I do see that this person is reflecting. Now we all know what happens when we really you know your change may transform or put them into a position for their change. Okay. Uh, when they realize they're actually losing side and you're no longer going to be accepting less, uh, you only want to equal give and take or whatever has happened in the past, you're not forgiving for whatever third party or not working with you or collaborate, showing up for the relationship, uh, whatever it is um, that when you, they realize that it could change. Okay, so you have the five of swords here. And that is clarifying your intuition. So this is definitely you, Sag, being up in your head, right? But, Sag, I also feel that you're having the memories of the Five of Swords when you were in competition for this person, when you truly wanted this person, and they didn't see you for who you were. So they, whether they are changing now or not, you are still remembering and reflecting, right? Memories of love card is what you got here. So you're reflecting on how this person made you feel in the past, how you had to feel like you was in competition, always fighting for them, trying, trying to get them to show up for the connection. It definitely said you could take this and reverse it any kind of way, Sad. It could definitely be you up in your head of feeling like how maybe someone was fighting for you, you know, and you realize, like, man, you didn't give your all in the situation and uh, you could have done better that's just one that may not be for all but that was a small amount so if that resonates you know comment let me know but it's just a small part where the two of swords is here where somebody realized that in the past they you know it was a sad that wasn't showing up to the best of their behavior and they're really in their mind about it and reflecting on it right and, and having a lot to do with the heart chakra so Let's just keep going, y'all, because I don't want these readings too long for October. So, your mental clarity and the spirit just say they're going to be long as they wanted to be because they just giving me cards. They're like, just take them. I'm like, okay. So, with the mental clarity, the first card I seen was the Five of Cups. So, you have the Five of Cups here, uh, Saggy, under mental clarity. And that's like, you know, let me, I got to show you this. This person over here is holding back. Right? This is like the truth, the light. And then over here, Sadie, you seeing it just like go down into the drain. Can you guys see that? It's like you just seeing it all for nothing, a waste of time and energy. Like just looking at something go into a dark hole. So that is definitely what you could be looking at. You like all the time and energy put in for that. They didn't show up emotionally. And here's showing, they wasn't showing up for the connection. Whatever goodness could have come to the connection they wasn't bringing it and since they wasn't bringing it you've chose to release that and not deal with it and now you just sitting there and like you know i understand you may want me you want to get back with me work with me maybe whatever the situation is this person may have been trying to contact but you are strongly in your head using your intuition and you're like i don't want to do that over again i don't want to go back to that i've healed i've worked on that right um, and I think your struggle, yeah, that's what I said, you heal and work. And I forgot I had these two cards here. All right, spirit. So we're going to move that one to there, which it all still plays a part, Saggy. So you had the hangman and the five of ones. That relationship was very, kept you conflicted. It was fighting, arguing, confusion, discomfort. Um, and it kept you in a hangman st state. You never really knew what was going on with this person, with this relationship, what direction you were going in. Right? It definitely said, I'm just hearing it for you. I have to give you the message that I hear. It could have been a lot of conflict in the relationship, Sag, because there was a lot going on in your life at the time, right? And you wasn't sure about what it is that you wanted. 
and maybe you had a lot of friends, family, other people making decisions, work, things like that, and you wasn't really stable and able to give to the connection. So this person could have always been in competition for your love because you wasn't showing up for the connection. That's for some. So back to the Sag where that is not you and you are actually uh, the person making these changes for yourself, you're not dealing with this five of wands anymore. You're not being conflicted. You're not holding yourself uh, any longer in a situation that does not make you happy. You will rather see it just be drained and, and, and send it out to the earth, the ethans, the skies above, and just like release this. I'm no longer going to hold on to the idea that something good could have came out of it. So, you know, the five of cups is, yeah, I'm hurt, but I'm going to look at these two cups behind. Once I drop this and let it go through, and, and, and release it and work on my healing, I'm going to release that. And the reason you're releasing it because you have the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is sad you are choosing to be free, abundant, and work on your own self. You have something you're reaching for. It could be a new job, a new car, a new home. You may even have someone looking at you at the same token. <laughs> Just so I don't know why I heard it. I don't see any love card besides the Heart Shocker. And, um, you know, and you still may be having uh, some issues for the month of October, Sag, because you're going to be thinking about this person kind of up in your head. Because it looks like you have not made that decision right now. If you haven't did it at the end of September and it's the first week of October, this is something that you're going to be working on. Um, what I'm seeing, you got 222 here, 222. And I'm thinking, you know, uh, two, four, you got six here, you got six here, you got six here, you got a lot of sixes and twos here. Those are, could be your life path number, sixes or twos. Um, but I'm, the way I'm feeling about a 12, uh, anywhere between the 12, uh, 12th and the 18th, those decisions will be somewhat made for you or you'll be much clearer in your head. So this is something you just got to go through right now, Saggy, but you're getting the clarity is coming through, but you definitely have chosen you, all right? Um, you have the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Wands, Saggy, you know, definitely could be you standing in your power, now manifesting, and you know, this is a person now manifesting exactly what they want. Now that you're single, you're able to look at other opportunities uh, and things like that in your life. And you're not going to be dealing with conflict and things that put you up in your head and make you doubt yourself or make you feel like you're not good enough to have a loving relationship. I don't think you're going to be moving fast, Sagi, with anything that comes in regardless. I think you're still going to take your time. You might even just enjoy, right? Partnership and allowing you definitely walking away from a relationship, choosing not to go that way. You will take the love or the memories with you. But you now just know that, you know, uh, you need to take your heart elsewhere. You want to move towards someone uh, or just be in a state right now where you take care of your heart. And you really want someone that you can trust with your heart. Because it looks like in the past, this situation, you could not trust them with your heart. You have the four of swords. So you definitely, you know, on the first part of October, Sag, you're going to be spending some time with yourself healing. I think you're going to make a decision not to move towards this person and wait for the divine to bring in what it is. Yes. The bottom of the deck, you have the nine of wands that is beating the journey, be getting through the hard part of it, right? Like I say, sometime about the middle of the month, You'll be getting through it, and you'll stand there with just that one wand you have and the fire looking out to see what else is, is out there. And you have um, the world card, so that's putting an end to that old cycle. Exactly. Now knowing what you want, working on your healing. And with that, you have the, the world card. So it is starting to turn in your favor. You're going to feel different and see that things are starting to be brighter. Maybe something special coming in for you. Some extra income. I'm just hearing this. Some extra income for you, Saggy. In the month of October, there's a check you may get that you was not aware of. Um, if we were waiting on some type of settlement, you're probably going to get that between the 9th and the 21st. Um, I'm just, this is just, I'm just channeling y'all. Um, and... 
Then we have the Ten of Swords under the bottom. So this will be the end of the hurt and pain for you. You're getting over it. You are now moving forward, knowing what it is that you want. And I'm feeling that the universe, for all the work that you've done, the pain you've been through, how you survived and got through it, you studies moving forward. And if you pay attention to your intuition, because you're going to be dealing with a lot of intuition and mental clarity and thoughts, um, for the month of October, there's definitely some gifts that could come in that you were not aware of that's going to be coming in for you, Sagittarius. So October is looking good. There will be some changes coming forth. You know, you may have a few sleepless nights in, in um, October, Saggy, but you're going to get through. And at the end of the day, your cycle begins to turn. And there's a little fortune or something that's going to make you feel really good towards the end of the month. After the work that you've done on yourself, definitely could be love coming in for you. you. Can never doubt that because we do have heart chakra here, partnership and allowance. There could truly be a true love coming your way um, for the end of the month. So, Saji, that is what I got. If this seemed to resonate with you in any way, please give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys probably for the mid month. So, don't forget to put that. Um, notification button on so anytime I release a Sagittarius reading you will get that notification love and light Sagittarius goodbye